Hey everyone, this is Sean, and today I am going to be talking about how you can build for the metaverse with absolutely no coding required using a tool called Builder. And the specific metaverse I'm going to be talking about today is Decentraland. But before I dive into that, let's talk a little bit about what the metaverse is for those of you who might not be familiar with the metaverse. So the metaverse is kind of like a digital universe that lives on computers within our own real universe. And if you think about that, that concept is kind of meta, which is where the word metaverse comes from. It is a meta universe. Now there are literally hundreds, if not thousands, maybe even more metaverses out there. So many of them, so many different platforms. But my favorite metaverse is Decentraland. What is Decentraland? Decentraland is a metaverse. So it's like I said earlier, it's kind of like its own universe, its own world. But as you could probably tell by the name, Decentraland means it's a decentralized land, meaning there is no large corporation that owns it. There's no central authority that owns it. Really, it's all the people all over the world who are building for it, who are constructing things in it, who are buying and selling in it, playing games in it, hanging out in it. That's what makes Decentraland so special. And it's why it's my favorite metaverse and in my opinion, the best metaverse that's out there. So what can you do in Decentraland? Well, you know, it's kind of like a city. There's aquariums, there's zoos, there's casinos, there's comedy shows that you can attend, there's movie theaters, there's just walking along the street or exploring certain parks or playing games with friends, hanging out, you can chat with people, and you can actually make a living in Decentraland. You can set up a shop, you can buy and sell things, you can work as a clerk or as a door greeter and you can actually get paid an hourly wage. So this is not just a game, even though it looks like a game, it is really some sort of society where you can earn a living and it is pretty incredible to see where it is today and I can't imagine what this will grow into in the future. So just like in the real world where you've got construction workers and contractors and architects and all these builders who are building real buildings and houses and skyscrapers and commercial buildings, there is actually the same demand for these types of services in Decentraland where an investor will come along and buy a plot of land or a bunch of different land and say, hey, I want to build something really cool here, but I'm not a programmer and I'm not interested in building. So they will actually try to hire people to build stuff for them. And this is where Builder comes in. Builder is something that I'm really excited about because myself and a bunch of other people have been working on this for over three years. Builder is a no code scene creation platform where you can build scenes or applications. And uh, one of the things you can do with it is export your scene to Decentraland. So what this does is it makes it super easy for a lot more people to be able to build for Decentraland because you don't have to study a complex uh, software development kit, SDK. You don't have to know a lot of coding. In fact, you don't have to know any coding at all. In fact, you don't even really have to know how to use a mouse or a keyboard. <laughs> you literally can use your hands and build stuff with your hands and using some very uh, simple logic building blocks, you can put together some very complex scenes by putting in assets and different 3D models all around your land and you can publish that to Decentraland. I have posted uh, several links in the video description. If you want to learn more about Decentraland or you want to learn more about Builder, you can check out the links in my video description. And without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right into creating a simple scene within Builder and exporting it to Decentraland. Okay, so this is your Builder home screen. If you haven't already, you can check out the video description to get caught up with Builder and how to download it, how to create an account. But let's say you've already done all that. To connect Builder to your Decentraland account, you wanna click on that connect to MetaMask button and then it'll ask you to go onto your Builder portal. 
So on your web browser, go ahead and log in to your builder account. And there you'll be greeted with a QR code that you can scan with your MetaMask wallet on your mobile device. Uh, I think right now you can only use your mobile device uh, to connect to MetaMask, so you can't use the MetaMask that's in the browser. So go ahead and open up MetaMask on your mobile device, and there'll be a button to scan a QR code at the top left-hand side, and then go ahead and scan the QR code, and it'll ask you if you wanna connect to it, so go ahead and press connect. And at that point, you should be fully connected and back in the headset, you can go ahead and exit out of that screen. You'll see that it says connected next to MetaMask. All right, so now we can use our hands to start building the scene. Let's go ahead and create a new scene or a new build. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and name this uh, Decentraland and then we'll go ahead and press create. And down at the bottom, you wanna make sure to do the Decentraland parcel. And with this blank slate, we can go ahead and start adding stuff to our scene. So let's go ahead and open up our hand menu and press the create button. Let's go ahead and drop in a cube because that's the, the simplest object we can add. Go ahead and resize it, place it where we want it. Now keep in mind, there's a lot of menu items. I'm not gonna go over what all of these do, um, but I will put a link in the video description. Uh, you're welcome to check it out to read up more on all the different features of Builder. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, put the cube there and let's color this cube a reddish color and let's go ahead and create another cube and we will uh, place this right next to it and i'll go ahead and uh, speed this part part up a little bit i'm going to create a, a few different cubes there is also a panel as you add things that will tell you what your uh, triangles are the number of materials you have the number of objects you have those are based on Decentraland's limit. So if you exceed their limit for a scene, this panel will let you know that. All right, so next let's open up our hand menu again and we'll go ahead and press the import button. These are where you can upload any 3D models that you created outside of Builder and uh, you can download those. So I'm gonna download a model that of a tree that was created uh, in a 3D art program. Uh, so you can see here, I've got a nice, uh, beautiful, low poly design tree that I'm putting here. Let's go ahead and open the import menu again and let's download another 3D model that I had uploaded uh, to the builder portal. This time, uh, let's see here, we've got a couple options. Let's make this a little bit bigger so that we can see it uh, slightly better. Uh, let's go ahead and choose the model of the bone. We can go ahead and place it exactly where we want it to be and put it right here next to the next to the three colored cubes. Okay, so I haven't added any logic to the scene yet, but I wanna go ahead and export it to Decentraland just to see what it looks like. So I'm gonna press scene tools, and then you'll see export, the word export with the Decentraland logo. There's two different exports. The other one is to export it uh, to a 3D model, but we don't wanna do that right now. For now, we just wanna export this to Decentraland, all right? So it needs a few different pieces of information. It needs your uh, scene title, it needs a short description, it needs to know how big your land is. So right now, this is just a one by one parcel. And then it needs to know where your land is. So go ahead and fill out the information. And once you do that, you can go ahead and press the export button. It'll ask you if you wanna confirm all the details, go ahead and press the confirm button. And after you press the confirm button, you'll see a little uh, pop-up to the left of the menu that says that it's uploading your scene. So just uh, wait a couple seconds while it uh, packages up your scene and prepares it to uh, upload it to Decentraland. Okay, then the notification will change and ask you to sign the signature request on your phone. So go ahead and open up MetaMask on your phone. You'll see the pop-up confirming that it's really you publishing this. So go ahead and click sign. And then after that, you should be ready to go. So let's hop onto Decentraland and see what our scene looks like. All right, so here we are in Decentraland. I'm currently running this on the computer, although you can also run this in virtual reality. I'll talk about that at the end of the video. And here we go. Wow, look at this. So we just created this scene in virtual reality with no code at all, just using our bare hands. And here it is in Decentraland. 
So you can imagine all the possibilities of what you can build just by importing 3D models or creating them right in Builder, animating them, adding logic to them, and being able to do all that without uh, really any coding or computer, mouse or keyboard, just using your hands and having fun. So I'm not gonna cover the logic system of Builder in this video, but I may do that in an upcoming video, so do stay tuned. In the video description, you can always go to the Builder learning resources to learn about some of that. But yeah, it's got a fairly robust action and trigger system where you can um, add all sorts of fancy logic to make your scene interactive. In the video that I'm playing here, I'm essentially hooking up the logic to all of these cubes so that when you interact with each cube, you can toggle the visibility of the bone and the tree. And I'll show you that in action in Decentraland. As you can see here, as I walk up to each of these cubes, they're kind of like buttons. So as I press each of these cubes, then I can toggle the bone and the tree and even the red cube over there on the left hand side. This is pretty neat. You know, all this without writing a single line of code, just using your bare hands to add a few actions and triggers and boom, you've got a, a simple interactive scene. So you can really make this as complex as you want in Decentraland using Builder. So there you go. That was a video overview of how you can use Builder to build for the metaverse and uh, create content for Decentraland. Uh, whether you're a landowner on Decentraland who wants to build something fun for your property or whether you are a designer or somebody who wants to build and get paid to uh, build and construct new and interesting things on other people's lands. Uh, Builder is a fantastic tool that will allow you to do that. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, please do comment down in the comment section below. Uh, if you haven't already, do subscribe and stay tuned for more video tutorials like this. And uh, thank you very much for watching.